welcome back to cad cam tutorial now we are going to make assembly part 4 for vertical sterling engine so let's start go to file and choose our previous assembly we created this assembly in our pre previous lecture so let's go for next assembly insert component browse and select crank bolt open now select this bolt we want to edit it so open part sketch edit just select this make 5 mm and select this make 6 mm exit now exit from the save changes yes save in assembly yes now it is saved now select mat select this bolt and select this inside select reverse ok now select this sur outer surface of bar and back side of rod uh, bolt ok now the bolt is fixed ok uh, now we will remove this assembly and we will again refix it is a we fixed it reverse direction so just delete it yes now again insert component browse and choose piston open ok now select mat choose this rod and select this diameter select ok Now select this surface and select this inner surface. Select OK. OK. Now the piston is fixed with this. See it is rotating. Now insert next component. Browse and first inner heater open ok now just rotate this inner heater ok now select mat select this body and select this rod cocentric ok now select this piston downside radius and this upper of inner surface see it is fixed here ok see it is fixed here if we will rotate this flywheel it will rotate with this ok now insert next component browse and this time select outer heater ok now rotate this component ok now select this rod mat and select this outer heater choose here cocentric ok just take it down now select this upper part of outer body ok now just and select this body cylinder cover this diameter select ok 
now this outer heater fix with cylinder cover okay now we will see how it looks see the inner heater is rotating inside the outer heater so please subscribe our channel for more videos and more projects in SOLIDWORKS uh, there is one more bolt balance so let it finish insert browse and crank rod bolt 2 open Now select this bolt and inside radius, ok. Select this surface and head surface, ok. See the bolt is fixed here. Now our assembly part 4 is ready. We will see further assembly in our next tutorial. So thanks for watching.